Okay, I'm here with Nick. Uh, one of my uh, most memorable interviews from last year because he was building very, very high performance bamboo bicycles. Yeah. So Nick, tell us about the last year and how, how the adventure has been for you guys. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Well, so last year uh, we were still doing very similar frames for the last two years, just really refining our design. But this year I'm going to be racing my own bikes. So I've left my professional team from the last two years. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing most of the same races, um, a lot of the national race calendar events. But I'm racing for Boo now. I've got a few teammates. So the goal this year was to really make a frame that would combine all the different best performance features that we figured out and then have some new ones and so that's like this is my personal racing bike for this year uh-huh it's mostly built I don't have some of the cables connected but uh, my goal with it was to really show how you can combine bamboo and carbon fiber oh wow so it's yeah perfect synthesis and just for the ultimate ultimate performance but still preserve a really good ride quality mm -hmm. uh, how did you select which one's going to be bamboo and which one's going to be uh, a carbon tube? Sure, sure. That's a good question. So the, the goal was to always preserve ride quality. So the bamboo absorbs high frequency road vibration really well. Carbon fiber, it absorbs vibration, but it's a lot stiffer. So that's its strength. The seat tube, we wanted to make this carbon because the bending stiffness laterally is actually the most important aspect of the seat tube. So we made the entire seat mast out of carbon, but then the road uh, vibrations that travel through the wheels, through front and rear dropouts, those are really isolated by bamboo before it ever gets to your saddle. Before it gets to the saddle. So most of your ride quality is going to be preserved, but then you have incredible stiffness, a lot less weight. And I don't have my chain guide on there, but I'm running a single front chain ring. A single ring. Carbon fiber, fiber light chain ring from England. Uh -huh. 49 tooth, custom made. And then I'm running a, an MRP chain guide. Wow. So with a DI2 rear derailleur. With a DI2. And I'm using brake levers, not the actual Shimano shifters. Uh huh. And I've got custom buttons from Cat Eye that are going under the hoods. So it's going to look like a single speed up front. <laughs> it is so clean, huh? That was my goal with this bike, was to just really showcase all the coolest stuff that we can possibly do because, I mean, James Wolf was telling me, James, you know, is my builder. Your partner, uh-huh. James is just experiments. He loves, you know, his, his hell would be doing every, every single bike the exact same. Right. So he just experiments with different designs. And one of our ideas was to use a full carbon seat tube and really kind of split the bike aesthetically. So you have the two natural materials held together by a, a man-made synthetic composite material. Right. And really integrate the two. Well, it's a, it's a great example of, uh, you. of your work and how bamboo can be used in high performance. Thank you.